Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. I have a video I have got to show you. <laughs> I'll put it in the description. But it is, I, I have to be I love Representative Jim Jordan. He is a very sharp lawyer. He knows how to ask a question. I'll give that bad that. And uh, this morning he's uh, interviewing uh, Dr. Fauci in a hearing about the virus. He asked a really simple question. He basically just said, hey, does, do protest spread the, uh, you know, spread the virus? Do protest cause the virus to spread? And Dr. Fauci, you know, the way he normally does, gives the Weasley answers. He said, well, you know, any large gathering of crowds can cause a virus to spread. He says, so then should we limit protest? And Fauci was trying to weasel out of that answer, and Jim Jordan was not having it. Well, I, I'm not. I don't really say who, what we should do and what we shouldn't do. But the, and then Jim Jordan said, "Well, you made recommendations about dating. You made recommendations about baseball and everything else. Uh, why can't you make a recommendation here?" And Fauci is trying his best not to answer that question. It is hilarious. <laughs> And I'm telling you, see, I don't trust Fauci. I haven't trusted him from the beginning. I can t I can show you my Facebook post from the very beginning. I've gone back and I've said a couple of things when people were freaking out about this thing. I said, unless this virus is a zombie virus, some of y'all need to chill the hell out. That, that was a Facebook post I wrote early on. I think it was in February. And then when Dr. Fauci came out and we should do these things and we shouldn't do those things and it's just, oh, well, maybe we should do that. Great example. In March, he was saying we didn't need face masks. We didn't need to worry about face masks. It really doesn't stop that much. It may stop a couple of droplets, but there's really no need. So then he was in another hearing in Congress talking about, well, how come now you were saying then no face masks now? You're this huge proponent of face masks now. Not only is he a proponent of face masks now, by the way, he's talking about he's a big proponent of goggles now too to be extra safe wear face mask and goggles <laughs> but you just said back in march uh face marks really won't make that much of a difference but in that hearing he said that the reason why he came out and said that was because they were afraid that there would be a run on those items and that the medical per personnel who needed it wouldn't be able to get their ppe before the country got a hold of those things so initially so in other words it wasn't about our safety it was about making sure the medical person they'll had enough face masks first. Then he'll come out and say, okay, now maybe you guys should start wearing face masks. Come on now. <laughs> so in his hearing, he is trying his best to avoid answering the question about whether or not protests should be limited because they can cause the spread of the virus. And you've got to watch a video. Jim Jordan, he is trying to weasel out of it. Jim Jordan is not letting him weasel out of it. And he's doing everything in his power to try to avoid answering it. It is hilarious. You got to check it out. But as for me, I'm going to be real with you. Dr. Fauci cannot be trusted. Man talks about how we didn't need face masks, then we do need face masks, and then when he wears a face mask, throughout the, he's been on the cover of magazines trying to be all chill and cool. He throws out the first pitch of, a, of the baseball game, and it was the worst. You got to go find that video on your own. The worst first pitch I think I've ever seen thrown. It was terrible. It didn't get anywhere near the plate. It got closer to the first base than it did to the plate. I'm just saying. Uh, you got, But I digress. But he's been doing all this stuff. And he's supposedly this national figure that we're all looking to. But he won't say that the protests are detrimental from the spread, from uh, spreading the virus standpoint. He tries to lump it in all crowds. So the protests are just as detrimental as going to church. Right, okay. But we can't go to church. Oh, unless you're a congressman or George Floyd or something like that, you know, because otherwise you can only have 10 people at a funeral. Uh, but unless you're somebody famous like that, then you can have a couple of hundred plus, you know, somewhere between 50 and a couple of hundred. And if you have people lined up back, you know, back to butt, you know, uh, back to front all over the place, that's cool. The virus does, the virus understands if you're at a famous person's or a notable, uh, newsworthy figure's funeral. Other than that, you can't, you know what? At some point, y'all gonna have to stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe. I mean, come on now. Come on now. You have to stop all of this stuff.
I mean, it is obvious to even the blind. Stevie Wonder can see this. This is BS, man. This is BS. All you people, oh, we got to be safe and we got to wear a mask. The mask is not to protect you from other people. It's to protect other people from you. That is the purpose of the mask. That's why you cover your own nose and mouth is so that if you sneeze and you have a cold or the flu and you don't necessarily get it on someone else. But other than that, it's not going to do anything. That could have do anything for you. If you had a mask on and somebody sneezed and they said they got the coronavirus, they sneezed on the surface and then you didn't know it and you touched that surface a few seconds later, you could still, what good is that mask going to do? Come on. It is time for us to get past this. I don't trust Fauci. I have not. I don't trust him any further than I can throw him. He's kind of small, so I could probably throw him pretty good ways, but I would trust him even less than that. The man is a, a, a politician posing as a doctor. I'm not interested in anything he's got to say because he just seems way too willing to help us continue in this posture. And it's unnecessary. It is time for us to get back to school. It is time for us to get back to work. It is time for us to stop falling for this BS. And we need to do what Sweden did. Open it up for everybody who's healthy. Let's go get after it. For those people who are susceptible or unwell, let's keep them quarantined. But we got to get our country back going and get back to life because that this is ridiculous. And all this is about, for some states, in my opinion, this is all about the election. That's why you got people, California's locking up again. And we're going we're gonna to go back down to phase two instead of phase three. And all these other left of center or liberal governors and mayors are going back through those processes of trying to lock things down again. Because I guarantee you. After the November election, miraculously, things are just going to be able to get opened up. Even though that's the middle of flu season, by the way. <laughs> It'll be the middle of flu season. Everything's going to be able to get opened back up. So let's just get past this, guys. Stop playing. Stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe. They only have this power because we allow it. If we stop allowing it, they'll lose the power. That's just as simple as that. So I'm, I'm looking, I don't wear a mask when I go in, but then I, you know, I, I have a medical condition that I, I don't wear them and I let them know that. So if they have a problem with that, that's on them. Then they're not allowed to ask me what it is. I'm not saying you should tell them that, but I, I try wearing it. I wore them for a while. It's just very difficult to, and I just, I couldn't do it. So I don't do it. Uh, for those of you who feel like it makes you feel safe like a security blanket, a hey, rock and roll, you rock that deal. But for those of you who don't want to wear one, don't wear one. Like I said, they only have the authority we give them. And somewhere along the line, they forgot that. And so with that, I hope you're having a great day. Y'all take care. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Uh, watch the video that I'm going to put in the description. It'll crack you up. It is awesome. Y'all take care. <laughs>